What's up guys, Matt here with Acoustic Selection. Hope you're all doing well. Just got back from New York. The country boy and me, I don't know if I'm totally feeling that. I feel like I walked a thousand miles just to see a lot of big buildings, but um, met some good people up there, so New York's a great place. I'm not knocking the New Yorkers. With this video, I thought I would teach how to play the easy way to play a B chord and a B minor. It seems like lately I get more and more notes about how do you play a B, how do you play a B minor, do you have any suggestions, that kind of thing. Um, if, if you watch many of my videos, most of the songs I teach have f two sets of chords. Either my first four easy chords, which, which is G, C, E minor, D. I'm treating my That's just G, C, E minor, D. Now if you want to raise that up or lower it or whatever, you'd play an E, A, C sharp minor, and B, which I call the track chords. So all my videos have two sets of chords for the most part. You have the track chords, which is E, A, C sharp minor, and B, or played this way, E, C sharp minor, B, A. That's going up and down the track. So let's first go over if you play it that way, how to play a B chord. This is the easiest way I know to play a B chord is you play this open, it's called open voicing of chords. So you'd play, take your ring finger and pinky finger and what you would do is play the fourth fret, two middle strings. Right there, and then you take your first finger and play the fifth string, second fret. And you're gonna strum all six. So middle finger's not playing anything. So the, the fourth and third string of, second, of the fourth fret and the fifth string of the second fret. And strum all six. That's gonna be your B chord. So it's E, A, C sharp minor, and B. So you slide that up two frets to C sharp minor bits. That's going to be a B. It's going to sound great with about any song you play. So rather than having to learn the bar chords and, and all this, if you do that, that's a B and that's a B. It's going to sound the same. Don't worry about bar on those. You can leave those open and you're strumming all six. There's your B chord. It's, a, it's called a power chord. Then with a B minor, what you're going to do I show this tip often in my other videos, is you're going to play an A minor, which is the second string, first fret, and then with, with your middle finger and ring finger, you're going to play the fourth and third string. That's an A minor, and moved up two frets, one, two, it's going to be your B chord. And I play the bottom four strings. So if I have a song, A lot of times the songs I play that have a B minor will be a G, A, I mean G, D, B minor, A. your B and B minor chord. You're going to do a B in an open voicing way and a B minor just like an A minor slid down two frets. Hope this helps you guys. Have a great day and God bless you.